Welcome to my video. This is the Eclectic Mail Witch. This is Saturday Night Important Discussions. We've already had a couple this week, but this is my Saturday night, which you guys might see it on Sunday. But it's Saturday night for me here when I'm recording this. Alright guys, we've already had discussions about friendships before, specifically co-workers. This is another friendship discussion. This is general. This is for people in your lives that are trying to come into your life. So I got an article I'm going to read before we discuss it. And I really hope I can get through this without yawning, guys. Because when I start to read and my air conditioner on, allergies have been acting up. So excuse me if I start doing that. I'm really trying hard not to. Especially on video, guys. <clears throat> Alright. The title. The, the name of the video is going to be different because the title is long. And I'm only allowed to use 100 characters. So I'm going to do the best I can. Trying to describe it in the title of the YouTube video. <clears throat> I'm going to do my best to try to describe it, but I'm going to have to shorten the sentence, all right? <coughs> Sorry, guys. All right, the title is, I'm going to start reading it right from the beginning. Title, Friendship, Why It Is a Crucial Part of Our Lives, and Why We Should, why we should Accept Anyone as Our Friend That Takes the Time and Puts Forth the Effort to Show Interest in Connecting with Us. Here we go, guys. Friendship is a vital aspect of human life. It is a bond that is formed between two people who connect on the emotional, mental, and sometimes even spiritual level. The importance of friendship cannot be overstated, as it plays an essential role in our well-being and overall happiness. In this article, we will discuss why having friends is, a, is crucial to our well-being, while we, why we shouldn't reject people who want to be our friends based on age, and not discriminate because of age, race, uniqueness, social beliefs, Sexual orientation, any of that stuff, guys. And why we should accept anyone who takes the time to want to become our friend. Firstly, having friends is crucial to our well-being because it provides us with a sense of belonging and acceptance. Humans are social creatures, and we crave social interactions, especially with people who share our interests and values. Friends offer us emotional support, help us navigate life's challenges, and provide a sense of community. Studies have shown that people with strong social connections are happier, healthier, and live longer than those without them. Secondly, we should not reject people who want to be our friends based on age or discriminate based on age, race, uniqueness, social beliefs, sexual orientation. Age should never be a barrier to friendship. Just because someone is older or younger than us does not mean we can connect with them on a personal level. We all have something to offer, regardless of our age, race, social background, or sexual orientation. We should embrace our differences and celebrate the unique qualities that make us who we are. By doing so, we can broaden our horizons, learn from others, and develop a deeper understanding and appreciation of the world around us. Thirdly, we should accept anyone and I mean anyone who takes the time to want to become our friend. Making new friends can be challenging, and when someone expresses an interest in being our friend, we should welcome them with open arms. It takes courage to put yourself out there and initiate a friendship, and it is essential to acknowledge and appreciate that effort. By accepting new friends, we can expand our social circle, learn new things, and create meaningful connections that enrich us. In conclusion, friendship is a vital aspect of our lives. It should not be taken for granted. It provides us with a sense of belonging, acceptance, support that is essential to our well-being and happiness. We should, embrace our, we should embrace our differences, celebrate our unique qualities, and accept anyone who takes the time to want to become our friend. By doing so, we can create a more inclusive, diverse, and fulfilling social circle that enriches our lives and help us to navigate life's challenges. Beautiful article, guys. And I wrote this. I used AI to help me, but I put in the details I wanted to say. And it used facts to base the article on, guys. So, All right, so let's get into this. Guys, we all need social interactions. It's very important. And like this article said, if somebody takes the time to try to become your friend, you should welcome them. If they seem different, it doesn't matter what the reasons are, guys. 
How, put it this way. How would you feel if you're in a circle of people? Someone's trying to become your friend, right? Maybe you like the person, but you're like, eh, I don't really think they fit in. But then you find out later this person was having some really emotional issues. And God forbid, what if they ended up taking their own life? Because and how would you feel? Would you blame yourself? Because you thought maybe if that one little act of kindness could have made a difference and they wouldn't have done that? Guys, you never know what somebody's going through. If they're reaching out to you for friendship, we should take the time to try to become friends with them. Like I said, we all need social interactions. And guys, other thing, race. Don't ever, we've, we talked about racism the other night. I don't know, if, fortunately, but nowadays, I don't know very many people that won't be friends with somebody because of their race, which is a very good thing. But there's another type of discrimination I see. And it's very disturbing to me. And that's age discrimination, guys. People seem to be under the impression, not everybody, I have friends that are different ages than me. They're like, well, they're too old or too young or... See, that really doesn't make any difference. If somebody's coming to you... I'll give you an example. <clears throat> Say, for instance, somebody's older. The crowd happens to be a little younger, right? This person, older person tries to get in the crowd. Why not accept them in? Give them a chance, guys. Do you realize you, most people are against different forms of discrimination and they say they're against racism and all that? But if you're basing them being a friend with you based on age and you don't allow that, do you realize you're, you're discriminating against that person? Whether you realize it or not, you're, 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 you're performing ageism on them. You're dis you're, it's age discrimination, guys. You might think, well, they won't have the same interests as me. Well, how do you know that? I mean, I see a lot of older people that can get right in with younger crowds and do the same thing and enjoy. Maybe they missed out on something when they were younger. Maybe they feel like they're getting older and they want to still feel young. Let them give them a chance. Let them come in and show, let them show you that you they can hang out and they can act. They can they can be friends and you know even they might even have a few things that are a little bit different because of their age, but they could offer some unique things, guys. And they know how to, older people know how just as much fun as younger people, guys. I'm telling you, they do. Like, they can go out, and I know a lot of young people like to do, sometimes they like to party, different things. Older people like to do that, too. They like to get out, enjoy themselves. I'm fairly young, you know, I'm 41 years old, all right? And I feel like I'm 20 half the time. I can fit in just fine with those younger crowds, guys. Actually, it keeps me feeling young when I have younger friends. You know, I've got younger friends, and it actually has already made a big difference. Especially one particular young friend I have. It's made a difference in how I feel. It makes me feel young again. It makes me feel like I'm half my age, guys. And don't get me wrong. I'm not neglecting my responsibilities. I'm going back to being... No. I have a family. But once in a while, I like to get together with people and just, just have fun, you know, and live those younger days again. It's the same thing when you're younger and you're trying to be friends with older people. Maybe... I wouldn't, don't, If you're older, don't push these younger people away, guys. You may have something unique they can bring to you, some fresh perspectives, you know. Maybe they're reaching out to you because they have some wisdom. You have some wisdom you can offer them, guys. So, you be the one that initiates. If your circle seems to be against it, you talk to them about it. And you, you, take, you be brave. Don't be cowardly. Be brave. You be the one that sticks up and says, yes, I'm going to try to reach out and be this person's friend. You be the brave one, guys. Invite them to hang out and do something. Even if the crowd immediately doesn't accept them, which they should, but if they don't, invite them over to your home. Or go meet with them individually somewhere. Do something with them, you know. Maybe a restaurant or someplace where you can go play games or bowling alley. Anything you guys can do. Just, you know, to try to build up your friendship. And then bring them along into your crowd. Say, look, I, I, have, I want to hang out with this person. They're fun. I, I enjoyed them. I think you guys should too. And don't, guys... Don't go by preconceived notions. Because you see somebody and you think something about them, you really don't know them. Even if you work with them or you see them around, if you don't know them outside that environment, you really don't know what they're like. Don't go by preconceived notions, guys. Because you probably, most 99% of the time, if you go by those, you're wrong. You know, like, you get to know somebody after a while, you're going to realize that they're not much different than you in a lot of ways. They can, they're, they're humans. They can have the same fun. They can do everything. I don't mean to sound corny, guys. I don't even like that word. So you've been conditioned to think like this, you know? And, you know, let people in. Also, don't go by gossip or what you heard about the people. That's a problem. The tongue is so destructive. I'd, I don't believe in violence, guys. I'd rather take a punch to the face any day 
and destroy me destroy my character with their tongue because that's very destructive it destroys people's lives we need to bite our tongue we really need to be careful what comes out of our mouth guys and i'm going to say something else that has to do with uh conditioning this you might even laugh when i say this word because you've seen it on television on movies people making fun of it all right the term kumbaya i know it sounds funny do you realize what that means it means unity harmony come over here it's like an african-american like when I, when I was reading about it it has something the word itself is like african guys why would you laugh at that like you think about it you're laughing at when you see that on tv yeah people you're laughing at something you're laughing at the fact that you're laughing at unity you're, if you understand what that word means harmony unity come over here it's mocked on television it's mocked in movies they had song kumbaya you know but you're laughing at unity you're laughing at equality and harmony and yet when you don't laugh when people are divided think about that think about that My, i mean this is, i know guys i know that we've been conditioned to think oh this that's funny that song sounds funny that word's funny you know we've seen it in movies we've seen people make being mocked at singing the songs on tv and, but it's nothing funny about it it means unity harmony acceptance the word that's the word kumbaya I remember I grew up in church. I remember singing that song and everything, guys. And some of the, we didn't sing it a lot, but I remember singing it some. You know, it has that. It means accepting people, loving people, guys. I'm not going to continue to go on about it, but I just want you to think about that. Why people actually laugh at that? They they wouldn't have laughed at it unless they unless they continuously seen something or heard, on a movie or heard something where people are being mocked singing that song, guys. But is it really funny? Is there anything funny about human humanity and harmony? And she really be laughing at foreign languages? Isn't that a little intolerant, guys? To be laughing in another language? I mean, think about it. Think about that. Should we really be mocking that kind of thing? I don't think we should, guys. We have so much to offer other people. If somebody is coming to you over and over again, and they're trying to become your friend, guys, let them become your friend. I'm going to light this healing incense now before I forget. I've got some bay leaves I'm going to send out too. And a friendship. I got a light. My light roses are dried up pretty much, so I got one of them that I'm going to be lighting up. I'm going to be burning. Let's give this some thought, guys. Let's give this some thought. If somebody's continually trying over and over again, and you continually reject them, guys, I'm going to say it again, and I'm not afraid to say it. I don't usually use this word, these kind of words, on my channel. But what goes around comes around. Karma. I don't wish this on anybody, but it's only natural. You're going to get what you put out. I believe that. All right. If you continue to reject somebody that's trying to become your friend in your circle, I'm going to just say it. It will. I repeat, it, I don't wish this on anybody. I don't want anyone to be rejected or anything. It will come back and it will bite you in the ass so hard that you won't know what to do with that, guys. Think about that. Do you want to be on the receiving end of that? Think long and hard. Do you want to be on the receiving end of rejection? No. Then don't reject people. Unconditionally accept. Unconditionally love people. You know, I'm really getting sick of hearing people say we can't accept everybody. No. That is not true. We cannot. We don't have to agree with everything everybody does, but we can accept everybody for being a human being. Well, we can't be friends with the whole world. All right. Well, maybe we're not true friends with the whole world, but when someone's coming to you, they're not asking for you to be true friends with the whole world. They're asking you to be friends with them. And I, for one, I will not target people with a friendship spell. I'll do general ones, but I won't give up either. If I feel like there's a group of people I want to become friends with, I won't give up. If they think I'm harassing them, then so be it. I'm not, there's a reason I feel that way, guys. I'm not going to be mean about it, but I, I'll continue. What I'm saying is I'll continue to accept them and love them. And I'll continue to show my seriousness about it. So people need to understand that, you know. If you have a circle you're trying to get into, people say, well, it's not worth it. Don't keep bothering. Actually, I think it is. If you feel like you need to be in that circle, there's a reason you're feeling that way. Don't ignore your instincts. Keep trying over and over and over and over if you have to. Guys, I think eventually you'll be successful. People will eventually give in. If they see you're serious, you know, especially... I mean, I think most people that have even a little bit of consciousness or a heart, they're not going to want to keep hurting you. They're going to want to eventually give you a chance. 
you know, and I think they're going to realize after a while, if, even no matter what uniqueness or flaws or social views or age or whatever, or race, it's not going to matter after a while because they're not going to see that anymore. They're going to see you as part of that circle, guys. I won't reject people. I, I, when I was a very little kid, I learned an important lesson. There was a, I was probably about six years old, maybe a little bit younger. You know, I was a kid, so I didn't know any better necessarily, but there was somebody who wanted to be my friend. I looked at the person and I judged him. It made him feel bad. You know, my mom, she corrected me so fast. She's like, David, you know, she's like, if someone wants to be your friend, this is, this is where I first learned this. Don't turn them away. There's a reason they want to be your friend. So I want you to do this. I want you to invite them over to your house, have dinner. You can play with them. I was like, I don't know, mom. You know, I was like, uh, well, you know what? I did. And guess what? We started hitting it off and we got along very well. We became very good friends, guys. Eventually they moved away, but I still have them on Facebook, but we're still friends. We talk to this day, and this is way back in the 1980s, guys. I learned this lesson as a young child. I was raised this way. So to me, it's even foreign to think about rejecting people. It's a totally concept that just doesn't, doesn't fly with me. And I don't, I don't mean to be harsh, but it's almost like, I'm not going to target anybody when I say this, but are people really raised right? If they reject people that want to be friends with them? Think about that. How are you raised if you think like that? I'm not raising my kids. I raise my children. And if someone tries to be your friend, you accept them as your friend. You give them a chance to let them come in. And I will not let anybody tell my children otherwise. You can't be friends with everyone. If someone says that to my child, I'm going to correct that person so fast. Just don't talk to my kid like that. Yes, they can be, accept anybody and be friends with anybody. I'm going to raise my children right, the way I think is right, guys. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach them right from wrong, how to love and accept people unconditionally, guys. And to be friends with people unconditionally, you don't want to be your friends. Don't push people away. It will come back to you. You reap what you sow. Karma, what goes around comes around. Karma will come back to you, guys. Would you rather sow love and have love come back to you or sow hate and have hate come back and slap you in the face? Guys, karma doesn't really have a consciousness. It's just more the energy out there. It doesn't care. You know, if you're, if you're going to do something to somebody, it's going to come back to you. If you show love to somebody and acceptance, that love and acceptance is going to come back to you. Like, guys, with all the loving spells, everything I've done lately, I have peace in my life. I don't get, I don't get upset too often. Yeah, there's things that make me upset, but I have, generally have peace. I feel good. If I started doing all these bad things, I really believe that I'd be miserable. And things in my life would just start falling apart. I have so many things to be thankful for in my life, guys. And friendship is a very big thing to be thankful for. If somebody is trying to become your friend, I think there's a reason for that. It's destiny. Especially if they continually do it and don't give up. It says something, guys. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this discussion for tonight. I've got to work, so I wanted to do this. You know, we're going to send some energy out like I usually do. All right, first thing is I got a little bay leaf here. It simply says, accept friends unconditionally. And that's what we should do. We should accept friends unconditionally, guys. So I'm going to get ready to light this. I also have a light pink rose I'm going to do. And actually, you know what, guys? I got some of that friendship powder left from last night. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that on here. There we go. Make it a little stronger, guys. Same thing I put in the charms, all right? Accept friends unconditionally. Accept friends unconditionally. Accept friends unconditionally. So mo did be. Accept friends unconditionally. Accept friends unconditionally. Love unconditionally, guys. Love and accept friends unconditionally. Of course, the stem. You know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to blow it in the air when I'm done. On my regular discussion videos, this is what I do, guys. I send the energy out along with it that I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to get across. 
Now I got light pink rose, which symbolizes friendship. The two hearts for friendship, and I wrote friends underneath there. All right. Unconditional acceptance, unconditional friendship. I now send that energy out. Unconditional friendship, unconditional acceptance. Unconditional friendship, unconditional acceptance. Push away rejection, bring in friendship, guys. I know I talk about this kind of thing a lot, guys, but this is something that means so much to me. It means a lot. It means everything to me, guys. When I said earlier about people being raised, I was not saying anybody is better than anybody. I'm just saying as parents, we need to think about teaching our kids things like this, like my mom did me when I was young, guys. And remember, let's love everybody. Let's, let's give everybody a chance that wants to become our friends. I know I will. And I ask you guys to do the same. Why do you think I made those friendship charms? I'm showing people unconditional friendship, unconditional acceptance, guys. I'm trying to show people and accept that example. That we can love everybody. We can accept everybody. We can be friends. Anybody that wants to be our friends. We can find a time to do that. See, the way to do it, guys, you say there's you know, a lot of people that are friends you don't have a time for them. Get them together in a circle and go out and do things together. That's how you do it. I'm not saying you have 100 friends and you go out each individual, you have time for that. Get people together and go out and do things as a group. Show that you care, guys. All right, before I go, I'm going to go through this, okay? Everyone has worth, value, beauty, and needs to be loved. Everyone has worth. Everyone deserves friendship. Everyone that wants a friend has, is worthy of friendship. Value has a value of being a friend. Be, would make a beautiful friend. It needs to be loved as a friend, guys. Let's remember that. Let's think long and hard about this tonight. This discussion I had. All right. All right, guys. If you want to help out, I would really appreciate it. My cash app. If you want to make a donation? Is dollar sign eclectic eighty one. That's dollar sign E C L E C T I C eight one. If you once again, if you hit, want to send me an email, you have a suggestion of a spell you want to see, or maybe even discussion you want to talk about, um, or if you want me to help you with something, I can help you guys with a spell maybe. And also, it's my PayPal address, and you can also come. You can also say hi. It's eclecticmailwitch at gmail .com. That's eclecticmailwitch at gmail .com. All right, guys, this is a Saturday night important discussion. I'm going to go now, and I'm going to get ready to upload this video, all right? Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell notification icon to be updated on my latest video. Thank you for watching my video. This is the Eclectic Male Witch. Blessed be.